good night. Hello, it's been a pleasure to have you back here. Hey, I have Claudia Lisa here, Mr. Edwin Pineda, Miss Gabby Velasquez, Miss Blanky, yeah, and Miss Claudia Selner Rivera. It's been a pleasure. Hi, how are you guys doing? So far, is it good? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Good. Very yes. good. That's amazing. Hi, everybody. Me too. I don't know where, where you are right now, guys, but right now here is really hot. Well, at least for me. At least for me, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, Gabby? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you see my. The fun um, is working so hard. Really? And it's still yeah. you're swearing like a pig, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that's what you know. What I'm not usually uh take a shower uh really late because of my sign of problems, but right now, oh my goodness, no way, I must do it. So right now, my hair is a little bit wet, but that's okay for me because of no, and it's still I'm swearing. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm, I won't be able to live in like in La Libertad or like um. San Miguel or La Union, no way. Those are not for me. What about you? Where you live at Cuco Beach? What Cuco. about you? At Cuco? Yeah. Is it is where you live? Yes. How's the weather like there? What? How's the weather there? How is the weather? Is it hot? Is it cold? Uh, it's a hot. I have a, a a farm in front of me and now. And it's still like roof, really? Yes, yes, oh yes. Oh my, no, I will I will die where you live, Edwin. Oh my goodness. But you already get used to it or no? Not really. Yes. Yeah, and it, can you imagine, guys? It's 8 p.m. And it's still hot where Elwin lives. Oof. Wow, Elwin. Whew. Yeah, but uh, have you grown oh, up there? I just took a shower. Uh... You just took a shower, okay. And the water, and, and the, the water, is it hot or is it cold? It's cold. Really? Huh? Yes. So uh, this is good because I have a friends, I think they used to live in San Miguel, I know, in La Union. I think it's in La Union, right? And there is a part of there where you have to like get the water one day before because um, when you open it and, uh, and and when you open the theater right of the the shower, uh, the the water came uh, like hot, so it's impossible for you to take a shower immediately. Can you imagine that? No way. Wow. Edwin, have you lived uh, there your whole life or no? So, uh, I'm moving in, in January. So you have moved? Yes. Uh, since, uh, so you lived there since January of this year? January of this year, ah, yes. And let me ask you, uh, the, where did you used to live? Yeah, in Chirilawa. Ah, it were your parents, right? Yes. Oh, but is it still the same, uh, the same department, right, uh, uh, Miss Amigo? Yes, yeah, exactly. Ah, ah, okay. And you don't like to come to San Salvador now? Uh, no. Why not? Tell us. Why not? I just visited one once in my life, and you don't like it? No, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's different, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's extremely moved. Uh, too much people. Yeah, too many people. Yes, exactly. You're right about that. It's different. Yeah. You know what? My uh, father, no, it was not my father. My husband's family are from Osulutan, um, Alegria, right? Which is a, a, a coldest place. Um, and I told my husband, if there should be supposed to be uh, a job there, if I can find a job, well, right now I'm working uh, from home, right, to do the quarantine, but um, uh, we can just look for uh, a maximum Wi-Fi, right, internet, <laughs> like 40 gigabytes. Well, right now I have 40 gigabytes here. Can you imagine? 
40 gigabytes and um, because of my work, of course I need it. And, uh, but if we can just move there, <laughs> right? That would be awesome. Because you know what happens right now that sometimes it's really hard to find a job, right? Because I love, to be honest with you, I love the Alegria of Zulutan because of the, the house is big and there's a lot, the yard, the yard is huge one, right? There, and, and my pets, I'm, I'm, every time that I decide to move, I'm looking to have a, enough space for my dogs because they're part of my family. So I, I like them to enjoy it where they lived. And I, I wish I could, I could be there because I know that they will be really happy, like hanging around, right? With the cat and everything. Yeah. You know what? When, when we visit my mother-in-law, whiskey start barking like, woof, 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 woof from the downtown. And when he arrives, and when we like stop the car in front of my uh, mother's little house, as soon as I open the car's door, like he's jumping and disappear. And half an hour later, he's coming from the backyard with all his friends, with all his dog friends, right? Yes, can you imagine? And when we like come back home, he's depressed. He got depressed. Because um, he said, oh, my God, I'm missing my pots, right? My paws and everything and, and the weather and everything. Because he really likes, he joins, he enjoys, like, the forest and all the stuff. Yeah, so I, lo I love him. But uh, hopefully I can move. I want to move there. But uh, the problem is, guys, that to find a job. That's the problem. To find a job. Right, Gabby? That's the right. issue. Mm -hmm, that's the issue. Well, well I moved to here to San Salvador looking for work. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard even even when I had nothing. Mm -hmm. it, it was hard to me to find one job even in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. that is the capital, a lot of uh, companies and mm -hmm. all that stuff. But it's work. It's hard. Yes, I know. If they promise me on my job, um, that we'll be working now from home forever and ever. Maybe we decide that we can move there. But right now I gotta stay in El Salvador because I don't know when we're going to go back to the site. You know, to the site is to the place, yeah. right? Where we're, so that's why I have to like, wait a little bit. But I wish I could be like Elwin, stay like uh, in, the down, in the town because it's really, it's really nice, you know, it's peaceful, right? Is peaceful. You can find things like um, a little bit cheaper, right? And um, basically, it, it, you are close to your family. Yeah, I wish I could have that. Well, if I decide to move, if I move one day, guys, I will let you know, okay? Hey, guys, I'm giving you classes here from the Zulu channel. Allegri, how's the day going? Yeah, that would be awesome. But as of right now, guys, no way. I got to stay in San Salvador. For a while, at least for a while. But maybe who knows, right? Maybe the circumstances changes. Yeah. You know what? I love La Palma. I love Sultan Alegria. And I love Ataco because of the weather. Uh, because for me, uh, oh. cold weather is fantastic. You know what? I'm from Santa Ana, San Salvador. It's Salvador, how, right? How could we say, um, like, Olcha? Ah, oh my God, blanket. <laughs> blanket. Blanket. Oh, the tiger blanket. The tiger blanket, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In a taco. In a, oh yeah, definitely. But you know what? Due to the cir climate circumstances all around the world, even though the places that here are, are used to be like a little bit cold, you feel the hottest. You feel it. Yeah. Yeah, they have changed it a lot. But you know what? I think Apaneca is cold, coldest, right? Than uh, than Ataco, I think so. I right, right, Rosadalia, Rosa right? I think it's because of the highest, right? I think Apaneca is higher than the than Ataco, right? Oof, but I love it. I love it. I love those places. Well, maybe once I, I can visit. Due to our quarantine, you know what? Due to our quarantine, we haven't celebrated our anniversary with my husband, you know? We haven't. 
Well, at least not like the way it is, right? Because this year we had 15 years old of marriage. Can you imagine 15 years of marriage? Wow. Yes, Marilyn, 15. And just we just bought like a, a little, a mini cake, right? With the 15th anniversary. And we took a picture with all our family. That means the cats and dogs, right? <laughs> and uh, and yeah. that's it and that was it basically and we of course went to have like a, a romantic dinner but but that's it but most of the time we just like uh, go to the forest or rent like a, like a hut you know what is hot not like a pizza hut like hot um cabana hot yeah yeah because yeah. we love to go to the cold places and we bring the pets with us but we cannot only my mama is in Costa Rica right now. Lucky her. <laughs> Only her, yeah. I don't have vacations until next year, so. I gotta wait. Yes, definitely. So hey guys. With what? your experience with your husband, can you give us some advice? <laughs> a real love and a lot definitely of Definitely a real love. <laughs> of course, you know what? Every marriage has the ups and downs. That's for sure, right? Because we come from different culture, different character, different education, different everything. But we have a lot of things in common as well. But uh, we need to have work as a team and show commitment because that is really, really, really important. And of course, if we follow the Bible guidelines, everything is going to be all right. Definitely. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because we're following the direction of somebody higher and wisdom, right? So that and the one that created a family. So who knows better than him? Definitely. So you know what? It's really nice. Yeah. And I love my husband. 15 years. Can you imagine? That's a whole journey, right, guys? Eh? That's mm -hmm. a whole journey. <laughs> yeah. Congrats. Thank you, thank you, 15 years. Hopefully, we're going to have more. Hopefully. Yeah, and we have an age different because my husband is 10 years different from me. He's 10 years older. Mm -hmm. And Gabby's like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, I just wa I was remembering that my... The um, mama? No? No. It's... Uh, my mother's sister has uh -huh. a brother. Ah, really? So oh. he's my, she's my your cousin. Prima, but your I cousin, can't remember yeah. how to say, yeah. Your cousin. cousin. Uh -huh. And his now husband is also 10 years. 10 years older. different, huh? Yeah. yeah. I was worried about, we're going to, we're going to like the same food, the same kind of music, the same everything, right? Like the, the real question that you come up with your mind, like, you know what? Yeah, we're we really look alike. We we love the same music. We love the same food. We love the same place to visit. So that's great. And of course, we love pets. By heart. The only thing that he doesn't know, well, he likes, but he doesn't. He's to dance <laughs> because I like to dance, but he can't. But that's okay. At least he tried to do his best, which is good. He's not like Michael Jackson, but he's trying. <laughs> my, my boyfriend loves uh, dogs, but I don't like dogs. No, why? But no, they're not so cute. At all. Really? Not at all. I think mm. they stink. They, uh, oh my God, they, they really bother me. I so, think you used to so be my quick. BFF. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, um. I'm, I'm like the three, like the Grinch with dogs. Okay, so you're the, I know. You're the green. They're not my pets. Okay. But, uh, I love the bunnies. But I, exactly. I, I remember you. that you have a bunny, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and he also loves. Oh, okay. Bunny, so, so at least you have one animal like coming. Yeah. <laughs> at least. Hey guys. And talking about that, talking about that, that, that you love uh, animals and so on. Um well. Remember that yesterday we started a, a new topic with the used to, right? The things that we like, uh, uh, well, that phrase we use it when for something that we used to have or we used to do or we used to like, we used to listen, but now it has been changed a little bit. And you guys made an excellent job yesterday with the exercise. But you know what? 
we're going to continue with that because today's guys um i want you to practice not only the writing but also the speaking because for me it's really important that you try to express yourself and also we're going to talk about guys things of of your childhood but you know what i have prepared a lot of questions for you <laughs> yes so today in Jaime is like oh my god not really everything's gonna be all right i promise you let me check mm -hmm. okay so guys uh, 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 um, let me check how have you changed that's gonna be the topic uh-huh but let me send it to you some information and let me see if i have it here let me just a couple of minutes let me open my whatsapp because hopefully everybody's in whatsapp guys hopefully is everybody in WhatsApp, by the way? Yep or no? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. so happy about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All righty. That's amazing. Okay, let's hear it. Let's listen here. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, so let me open here the whatsapp because there are some questions or so sentences that we can use to talk about things that we um just to do in the past and also guys it could be a discussion to to learn how to use it uh, a little bit more so bear with me for a moment there are some topics here in the sentences that i'm gonna send it to you guys i want you to let me know which ones uh you think that are positive and which ones do you think that are negative? Okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me check it out here a little bit. Woo, woo. Yes, there you go. Okay, I'm sending it to you. Oh, let me check here. I need to move something from here. There you go. Did you receive it, guys? I think you did already, right? I sent it to you right now. Yep, you did? The WhatsApp, yep. Okay, cool. So guys, there's some sentences here uh, and I want you guys, do me a favor, uh, help me read it, but at the same time, uh, after we read it, we're going to look at the statements and then we need to decide which changes are positive and which changes are negative, okay? Uh, Claudia, Claudia Cecilia, could you please be so kind to read for me the first statement, if you don't mind, the first sentence. Uh, do you refer for the pics that you send us? Yes, uh, the one that I sent okay. to the WhatsApp, yes, please. Okay, the first one. Yeah. Uh, when, I was a when I was a kid, I used to be very busy. But now I'm very big. I am very neat. Mm -hmm. Very good. Messi is not a football player, right? Just to let you know. <laughs> okay. What do you understand? Do you understand that quite the sentence, guys? Yes. Messi. Yes. Messi is a disaster, right? A disorder. Okay. And neat is the opposite. Everything is in order. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you see how you can use it? When I was a kid, hey, but I want you guys to pay attention on how you write it, right? And also guys pay attention on the punctuation because it's really important for me to like help you with the punctuation because as you know, a, a speaking is something but writing is another thing, right? Yeah. So we gotta be very careful with the way that we write things, for example. So you see in the first statement, when I was a kid, coma, I used to be very messy, coma, but now I'm very net, right? And then period. Why guys is in how you say comillas in English? Uh-huh. Oh my god, don't tell me that you forgot. Uh-huh. Comida. No, comida, no, comillas. <laughs> ah, she's thinking about food, right, Beto? Uh -huh. She's angry. <laughs> how you say that in English, guys? Comidas. Comillas, how you question say it? Mark. No, question mark is the question. Because it's question symbol. Mm -hmm. Quotation mark. 
quotation quotation <laughs> mark yes quotation mark exactly exactly so you it is in quotation guys because it's, it's announcement that a per, that a person is talking right when somebody talking and give you that idea the, the, his or her idea it has to be in, in quotation marks okay very good what about and and Claudia, do you think Claudia, it, that is a positive or a negative statement what do you think or is a positive or negative change oh uh, let me see the one um, that you read mm -hmm. My, I think it's a positive. Why do you think it's positive? Uh, because um, I I think that the <laughs> person recognize that um was very messy and now is the opposite. Uh huh. And for me, it's positive. Yes, because you know what? Sometimes there are some people that oh, um, that they, they used to be messy when they were a kid, but they're, they're already grown up and still messy, right? What do you think? I do you understand what I'm talking about? I'm talking about of that. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, no, please, Gary, don't be, don't be, don't be so mad. <laughs> oh, it's true. <laughs> but it's true, you see? So, so sometimes, guys, we used to have like a habit, bad or good habit when we were, we were kids and you already grown up and you still have the bad habit, right? So in this case, Claudia is, are you agree with Claudia that I, this is a positive change, guys? Are you agree yeah. with her? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, it is, definitely it is. Now, Jaime, could you please be so kind to read for me the second one, if you don't mind. Okay, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I do. Ah, a collect. They're talking about dinner, right? Could be stamps, could be coins like Josue, right? He used to collect coins. It could be like comics. I don't know. So Jaime, what do you think about this change? Is it positive or negative or depends? It's a negative. Why do you think so? Statement because you're using the auxiliary didn't. Not really. Not really, that depends. Uh, yes, it is a negative statement. Yes, you're right about that, but is it a negative change? What do you think? Or a positive change? I think that the situation is uh, different because uh -huh. uh, in the past, uh, not used to. Uh -huh. And now, uh, he, do he does. Uh -huh, he does. So what do you think, guys? It could be a positive or negative statement, or that depends. What do you think? I don't know, Jaime, I what do you that think? that depends. That depends. Why, Gabby? Um, because if you collect, like, a lot of stuff and they don't even fit in your closet or in your house, it's a bad thing. But if you collect just, I mean, less, if you collect coins, just coins, and that's all. Mm -hmm. but not a lot of stuff uh-huh so that depends of yeah. what kind For of me that depends what Jaime what do you think I think that it depends your if you change your habits uh-huh uh-huh it depends exactly for example if that collection would would take a lot of time uh, from your time right that you can spend with your family and everything so that depends right with equilibration uh-huh so that could be positive or negative depends on you right yeah, very good. Th thank you, Jaime, <laughs> and, and good pronunciation. Very good. All righty, let me check. Gabby, what about you? Number three, please. Gabby, you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, Gabby, yeah. you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, and number three said, I never used to play sports, but now I like to keep it. But eh. Again, again, <laughs> again, again. Read it okay, again, again for me. I never used to play sports, but now I like to keep fit. Uh huh. Is it positive or negative? Is it positive? Is it positive? Mm -hmm. Oh no, he keep the shape. Yeah, no. 90, 60, 90, right? <laughs> yes. Not like me. <laughs> I was like, nah. not like me. <laughs> oh, you're cute. I like to like grab your chicks. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a positive change, right? Change the habits, the habits. Yeah, it's like I know it's really hard, right, guys? 
to start doing exercise and to gain shape because you you uh, you start one or two or three days and then you did it you, an excellent job on the weekend but the next week <laughs> so it's really hard you know what with one of my friends he's a doctor now he's sick but we as we he said ah, he used to be a really sportive guy like swimming basketball athlete and everything he got married he has two kids right now he said you know what what I'm fat. And he said, I'm fat. I'm, I'm 200 pounds, he said, and I need to, to lose weight. Well, thanks God that he's told. Uh, he's told. But he said, oh, my God, I need to lose this belly. This belly is not for drinking. This belly is because of I'm chubby, he said. <laughs> so we, like, make, like, agreement to start uh, doing exercise again. And right now, we're good. But he got sick, so he needs like to suspend a little bit. But you know what? We have to put it in uh, in uh, one of our priorities, and we motivate each other because it's not easy. Because each of you has like a busy life, right? And sometimes you're tired and all the stuff, and you just want to arrive home and lie on the bed. But you gotta do an extra an extra effort, right? It requires discipline. Yes, it requires discipline. That's for sure, Jaime. Very good. So it's a, it's a good change, don't you think, guys? Yeah, we can start thinking about it. Very good. Number four. Thank you, Gabby. Rosa Dahlia, number four. What about you, girl? It's your turn to participate. Hi. Hey. Okay. Number four? Yes, please. Okay. I never used to worry about money, but I do now. Hey, what do you think, guys? I think everybody uh, get familiar with that statement, right? It's positive. It, it is positive. And what yes. do you think, guys? Yes, it's positive because it's like me. Like you. The, yes, yes, it's totally positive. I think everybody uh, I get identified with that sentence, right? Because when we were a kids, ah, we were happy because my mama gave us a quarter, right? Like, yeah, you think I'm going to buy how many candies, <laughs> right? And you start thinking about candy, chocolate and everything. But when you grow up and you have to work, right? You have to earn your money and everything. You know that it's really hard nowadays to have a job, first of all, and to earn money. So now you said, okay, I used to like, don't care about money, but now I do, right? And you put, and you, uh, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but um. Most of the people uh, create like the budget, right? You know what budget is? Yeah? yeah. Yeah. So you said, okay, this amount is for taxes. This amount is for electricity. This amount is for shopping. This amount is for entertainment and so on, right? Yes. So now we do care about it. I remember when I was a university student, I was poor. <laughs> I remember that. Because, yeah, I remember that because Me every, too. yeah, <laughs> right, Liz? Because everything, yeah, we need to like save some money in the piggy bank, right? Because everything goes to like um, print some copies for the books that we use and everything, right? But now, yeah, I imagine, I imagine that I appreciate one dollar that I, that my mama gave it to me because I really need it, and I use that dollar for my. I think it was my breakfast. Two ham and cheese breads with a soda. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. So it's really, really important nowadays, right? So everybody's got to identify with that, right? That we really care about money now. All right. Very good. Thank you, Josue Torres. What about number five, sir? Can you read it for us, please? Okay. Okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. Number five. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now, I don't have any free time. Ah, uh, what do you think about that, Josue? Oh. Uh, is it positive? positive? Is yes. it negative? What do you think? Positive. Positive, <laughs> yes. Oh. Really? What do you think is positive? Tell us. Well, because I I go to the university, I don't have free time any, maybe one hour or two hours. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm for a day mm -hmm. oh okay so now you don't have a free time yeah yes. i know well for for Josue is positive 
What do you think, guys? Do you think it's positive or it's negative? No, it's negative. It's negative. Why you say that, Yes, Rosalia? yes because it's negative. Uh, we need uh, uh, free time. Yes, we do. For a few, a few minutes, maybe, but you need it. Yes. Because you have a, you need to relax and you need to um <laughs> yes, like um exactly like yeah. just yes. take take some break, right? Of yes. the routine. Yeah. Need like, to massage. Exactly. Like Jaime, right? That he went with all the whole family like three days in a row to the uh, to the beach. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So definitely we need it. And it's really sad, but you know what, guys? There are some people that they have this life, right? Can you imagine living like that? No way. Whoosh. Mm -mm. Okay, what about number six? Blanca Susana Soldivaro. It's your trauma girl. Yes. Number six. Yes, please. I didn't use to follow politics. But now I check headlines online every day. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Is it positive or negative? What depends, guys? Mm -hmm. It's positive. It's positive. Positive. Because you, you used to uh, didn't care about uh, news, for example, of your country, right? But now we need to like be like in the same pace, right? So you check what's going on in your country. So you need to be aware about that at first. Mm -hmm. So it's positive. Okay, very good. And last but not least, Edwin, what about number seven? What do you have for us? Number seven. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now, I'm to visit the car how I look. What do you think, guys? What do you think about that? <laughs> And Gary is like, nah. And oh, is like, nah. What do you think? It's I, negative. It's negative. It's but negative. It's negative. Yeah. But you know what? I know some persons uh, that is like a, the opposite way. When they were younger, they didn't care about the look. And now they do care. But what do you think, guys? Do you think it's a, it's a, it's a negative statement? It's a negative change? Um, I just can't imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, like a homeless people <laughs> with all the hair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. You know what? My sister, he, he's now a lawyer, right? And he was a really uh, intelligent man. But I remember that when he was standing with my sister, who was my sister's classmate, he didn't care about his appearance. Sometimes he appears with a with a pink shirt and a yellow. Uh, in a yellow uh, t-shirt for example uh, I don't know what was it ah yes I uh, the hair was really messy and um, what, what was the color of the socks ah yes brown brown socks and tennis and I was like <laughs> and this is the future lawyer come on and I was like oh wow but you know what he didn't care about that but he was he didn't copy any class but his school was 9.0. So it was like, oh my goodness. But when when he had to like uh, try to put in practice everything that he's learning, he had to change because he cannot enter into the government buildings like that way. If not, they will say, they will think about this is the person that's going to jail or this is the person that is, that is the liar. <laughs> right, Claudi? If for example, in your profession, you need to really care about your appearance, right? What do you think, Claudia? Right. Yeah, if not, In they can fact, confuse you. <laughs> yes, if you go to court, uh -huh. you have to dress up. Yeah, well, with heels and everything. Uh, yes, they look at you. <laughs> yeah. I remember that another co-work, another classmate of my sister was, was looking like the renegade the one with the motorcycle and everything. And they said, you, you say that you're the lawyer? No way. They, they, didn't, they didn't let him in. Mm -mm. So he has to like shave his beard, cut his hair, put some sweat on, because to be honest with you, <laughs> he got to change a lot the opposite way. But what do you think, guys? Do you think that 
we still need to care about our appearance? What do you think? Or no? Yes, we need to care about our appearance. Why? More, Why, Rosie? No, maybe maybe it's for your work. Mm -hmm. But uh, for example, I'm I, I, a woman and I need to um, stay well. No? Of course. And look pr pretty because oh. I have... Because I, I have a, a lot of yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you don't look like, come on. Yes, 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 yes. I have a 51 years old. God, really? Yes. You know what? If you do not tell, me, yes. tell us your age, I, I thought yes, you were like 51. 40 or something like that. 40, 40 something, but not no. 50 something. <gasps> yes, but I have 51 and I have a 23 years old. Um, sorry, 23. Um, for my husband and me, Marriott. Oh, 23 of Marriott? 23, yes. That's a whole yes. journey as well, wow. Yes, and, and you know, I need to look very well for my husband and for me. If, is that first for you and then for your husband? Yes. yes. Definitely, Def yes. exactly. You know what, as a and girl, I love of, course, it. of course, exactly. Yes. Yeah, I it's love part it. of being a woman, right? Like, yeah, you know what? Yes, if one, a woman. One time I, 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 he said, my husband said, hey, what are you gonna do at the shopping mall? Okay, you know what? This is my day off. You got to do what you got to do. And leave me here. And I will go to the salon. You oh, know yes. What? Yeah. And I will go yes. to, of course, if I have money, right? If not, of course not. <laughs> but I, I take my day off uh, at home, like doing my nails, doing like some face mask, doing some hair mask and everything, right? But if I yes. have money, some I go some to the I. salon. Uh -huh. It's some and I. Yes. yes, you know what is part yes. of being a woman to take one time yeah. for ourselves. But what about what about guys? Do you think Jaime, Edwin, Josue, Julio? What do you think? Huh? Do you still uh, need to you, care about your appearance? Mm -hmm. Yes. But first of all, you have to love yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. For me, it's important. It's important. So I think like Elwin and yes, Jaime and Julio, they like look in the mirror in the morning, like they shape the beard, right? He, they were like, yeah, with the lotion, right? Like, like this <laughs> and everything, right? You know what? My grandpa, he's now 93 years old. But I remember that when he was living with my mom, with my mama, I love, or with my grandma, he used to have uh, everything of his care, his personal care, of the same line and everything with the same smell. So he, he gets out from the bathroom with a punch, you know, punch, all right? Mm -hmm. And he shapes his beard. Okay. And then he puts some lotion on. And then he put another lotion on. And then he's the, the desodorant. And every has the same smell. But you cannot imagine when he finished dressing up and going to the, um, to the office because he's, a, he's an accountant, uh, he's a retired accountant, you're, you're like, wow, you cannot imagine what a smell. That old man that smells fantastic. He was really picky and he still speaky, even though he's 93 years old. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Beatriz? Do you think we need to care about ourselves, our personal appearance? What do you think? Yes, for me, we have to care about our, our appearance. Okay, very good, yes. Well, what do you think about it the same way, Elsie, Blanquita, Brenda, Beatriz, Marilyn, Gabby yes. Sanchez? Yeah, it's, it's really good to take care of, of our own mm -hmm. because it's good for autoesteem mm -hmm. yeah and you feel better when you go to the salon uh, go shopping do your hair it's really mm -hmm. well of course when you have money right if not you gotta stay home yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay it doesn't have to have money to you look good right Beatriz you can go for example and stay home and do your your nails Right? But some people, this is a girl time. Some some women's make a uh, facial mask. 
uh -huh. with, uh, for example, um, um, avocado. With avocado, yeah. Avocado and uh, honey. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't know what to say, avena. What is oak. oak, oak. Mm -hmm. oak. Okay, oak and uh, bicarbonato, how do you say? How you say bicarbonato? Uh-huh. How you say that? Baking, baking soda. soda. Baking soda. Uh -huh. okay, Very baking good. Soda you see, you help yeah. each other. Uh -huh. when, you, yes. when you have money. <laughs> yes, exactly. There are some uh, things that you have at home that you can create your own mask, facial yeah. mask, or even the hair mask, right? Yes. Depends. Yes. Yeah. So you see, it's not complicated, right? And it's girl's yeah. time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and when yeah. the husband arrives, like, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> all righty very good excellent good job guys so you think we're we are improving our talk because that's what i need i need that you speak very good and you see where you see guys how we use the um, the phrase that we learn used to in a real life because that's what i want you to to look guys that um there are some people that says oh my god grammar no way but I want you guys to look that if, of course, even though we we'll need to learn grammar by heart, but I want you guys that grammar is practical. So practical because we use it for our daily lives, for our experience, for our habits in this case. Talking about things that we used to like or we used to do, but now we don't. So you see how grammar is really practical? Jaime, you were going to say something, is it? Go ahead. No, we're not like, no, no, no. He got panicked. Yeah, like, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, so you think that grammar, I want you guys to see like how practical is grammar and it's not boring like everybody thinks. No, it's not boring. It's not boring when you see the practice, okay, in action. We learn the theoretic things, but also we know or we're putting in practice what we have learned yesterday. And we will continue practice, this guy. But now I want you to share with you some writing things. In this case, guys, what I'm going to share, uh, it will be like one, two, three, four mini dialogues. What I'm going to share with you, four mini dialogues. And what I want you to do is basically to fill in the blanks <clears throat> and, um, the missing information. I'm going to share right now also with you um, basically um, like some grammar texts to remind you like a specific information for the, the use of the used to expression, just to like give you some tips. But this is going to be like um, individual exercise. So I want you guys to take just two minutes. It will be enough because this is such really short paragraphs and they're really easy peasy queasy. So this is basically what I want you to do. I just want you to fill in the blanks, guys. The information, I already sent it to you. Just let me know if you guys receive it. Yeah, you did? You did? No, I didn't receive. Oh. I think I, I am not I, in the chat. But you, you should be in the chat. OK, you should be in the WhatsApp. Uh, you are not, Elsie? No. Oh, let me do something here. Uh, let me search right now for the information. I'm going to put it on the. Um, on the Zoom, okay? I'm gonna search for the online of the link. I'm gonna send it right now. I'm gonna put it on the, on the Zoom. Let me check, okay. Mm -hmm. Elsie, can you see the, the chat here in Zoom? Yes. Okay, so let me see if it's the one. No, it's not the one. No, 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 no. Don't click on this because I, I, okay. I, I put the, that, that was the, the model after you guys. Let me check the one that you are right now. It's different. So let me check here. This is the one. Oh, let me check the WhatsApp. I think so, yes, let me check. Okay, I'm gonna click on the second one. The one that I sent for everybody. Yeah, the second one is the is the chat group. Click on it and then follow the, the steps that will ask you for information, right? Like if you want to join and everything. So just click on that and I think you're gonna be here. Let me know when once you have done it.
Guys, the rest of the guys, did you receive the information, guys? Yeah, you did? Okay, yes. cool. So yeah. you have uh, two minutes to complete it, and then we're going to like um, review it together, okay? Any questions, I'm here. I will give you some time, and I will come back, okay? Teacher. Yes, honey. Yes. I in front of the computer. I can. What better? Uh, can you? Are you in the WhatsApp group or no? No, Benito. No. Ah, okay. Do me a favor. Can you go to the Zoom chat? Yes. Okay. Do you? Can you see the the second link that I put? On the chat? Yes, but I can when I. You cannot click it? Yes, but I can't. It was really weird because I was supposed to do it in the computer. Maybe is your internet that could be? Oh. Let me see if I can send okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check. Very tough. Very, very. You did it or no? Yes. Okay, cool. I sent it to you, Berito, directly. Yes, thank you. Okay, cool. Finish, guys? No? Yes. Okay, one more minute. Okay. It's because I'm, yet. I'm, yet. I'm nice. All right, it's time. It is enough time. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to double check each other, okay? So don't worry about that. All righty. Let me double check. Who want to participate? Okay, thank you so much. Blanquita, Susana, maybe we can try, right? I knew with the teacher. I, I'm sorry. But the first... Um, names that I know is the first one that come up to my mind. Okay. Okay, guys. So you have, you see that we have like four mini dialogues, right? It's not yeah. complicated a lot. So the first one is already there. Do you use to comic, collect comic books when you were a little? No. Eh, no, didn't. what? Uh -huh. No, I didn't use to collect comic books. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Do you have it the same guys or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Very good. Number two, uh, Claudia Lisette, what about you? What do you think, guys? Um, did you and your friends used to play the playground at Skills? Mm -hmm. Continue. And yes, we used to spend hours there on the weekends. 
Very good, excellent. Number three, uh, Elsie Baskas, what about you? No, number three. No, teacher, I can see it. You can I, see it. it. No, what? The, you, can, the, you cannot see it? The link said that I need to uh, download the WhatsApp. Uh, yes, so if you don't have a WhatsApp on your, on your, yes, you do. You have to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, don't worry. And let me check. What about you, Marilyn? Marilyn Morrow, what do you think about it? Okay. Okay. Uh, go, number three. Yes, please. Get, what do you get do you just play? Aha, uh -huh, very good. But do me a favor. Try is this good? Very good. But try to put it in an intonation way, please. Go ahead. Intonation what question. Do, what mm -hmm. do you think do you use to play? Very good. Exactly. <laughs> that is a question intonation. Good job. But let me ask you, what video games did you used to play? What kind of question is it, guys? Is it a, a just no question? Is it an informative question? What do you think? Informative. Informative. Very good. What a WH question. So let me ask you, Marilyn, the intonation goes up or goes down? Um, what do you think? Don't worry if you're right or wrong. Don't worry. It's part of the process. Uh, <laughs> Go, goes down. Exactly. You're right about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you said, what video games do you used to play? I used to play video games. Uh -huh. but now I spend all the time. Uh -huh. I... Ah, you said, what video games did you used to play? I didn't used to play video games. So that is negative or positive? What do you think? Because he's, look at the second part, eh, Marilyn. But now I play them all the time. So that means that right now you play them. But in the past, yeah. you didn't play it, right? Okay, so do me again. Do, I, do me again. Do, do the sentence again. You can do it, girl. You can do it. I didn't used to play. I didn't used to play video games. But now I play them all the time. Very good. Now do me a favor. Say everything one more time with a little bit faster. You can do it. Hi, teacher. Yes, <laughs> I know. I did, I forget because yeah, I forget. I Come on. Now, I no, forget. you can start with the question. With the question, why be it again like that one? I didn't just say, just I didn't just say to play video games, but now I play them all the time. Very good. One more time, please. Gosh. I didn't say to. I. I didn't used to play video games, but now I play them all the time. One more time, please. I didn't used to play video games, but now I play them all the time. Like that. Go ahead. You can do it. I didn't used to play video games, but now I play them all the time. Fantastic. You see? You see? Very good. Practice, practice. The first time you were like, I didn't used to play the video games. Yeah. But now... It sounds more natural. Congratulations, Marilyn. Excellent job, girl. Very good job. You see? Woohoo! And then you broke my heart. Yay! Good job, girl. Very good. What about number four? Uh, Lisette Sarakai, please. Maybe Lisette is here. Houston, do we have a problem here? No. Lisette Sarakai, this is the first calling. Ding, 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 ding. Remember that when you are in the airport? Yeah. Inglés Corporativo is asking for Lisette Sarakai. Please come on the class in the first Zoom number one. Remember, zoom, zoom. See, she, I think she's not there. Let me see. What about Blanqui Susana? Saldivar <laughs> is her turn, girl. Number four, please. What what music uh, 
did you used to listen to? Mm -hmm. I used to listen to pop music a lot, but now I prefer rock. So you were like, and then you're like, remember uh, the life of the pets? The first one, remember that there's a dog that they listen, used to listen like classic music when the owner like goes to the, to his job, they started like changing type of music and they were like rock. Remember that? Remember that? I love it. I love that part. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good, Blanky. But now a little bit, a little bit faster. Okay. A little more fluent. Do me a favor. Can you read that question once again? What music did you used to listen to? Uh -huh. What music did you used to listen to? Do it again. What music did you used to listen to? Again. What music did you used to listen to? Very good. She's like, what music did you used to listen to? You see? <laughs> Very good. Excellent. And then like, what happened to you? Oh, my cheek card. <laughs> Very good. But again, what music did you used to listen to? Remember? It needs to sound like a question. You can do it okay. one more time. Okay. What music did you used to listen to? Aha, very good. The pronunciation is good, but it's missing the question intonation. What music did you used to listen to? Very good. That's what I need. Excellent. Because it, it the other person needs to like figure it out that you're asking something, not that you're saying something. So we're good. Okay. Very good. Now do me a favor. Now say it one more time to answer, please. What music did you used to listen to? Uh -huh. Then the answer, what's the answer for that question? Okay. I used to listen to music, pop music a lot, but now I prefer rock. Very good. So now do me a favor. Give me the answer without reading. <laughs> uh -huh. I used to listen pop music a lot, but now what? I prefer rock. Okay, say it again okay. without reading. I used to listen to poo. <laughs> you see, don't read. <laughs> I I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> no, no, be, be calm. I'm nice. Don't worry about it. I used to listen to pop music a lot, but now I prefer rock. Very good. Now, look at my eyes. Look at everybody's eyes. Don't read. Say it again. Mm -hmm. no, I don't I read. Used... Ah. <laughs> do, do it. Do it. I used to what? Say it one more I time. Used... Mm -hmm. I used to listen to pop music a lot, but now I prefer rock. Very good. You see? More natural. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Now, guys, let's continue talking. Um, let's talk about, guys, six things that maybe you have changed. What about your hairstyle? Have you changed your hairstyle? Yes. Who has changed her style? Raise your hand. Me. Me, Elsie, Elsie, but I cannot see you. No, <laughs> Me, like, but... I'm trying to use my imagination. <laughs> like, zzz, I... the Darbajan, right? Zzz. It's okay, we don't have, we don't have camera. History. Ah. But, but tomorrow maybe I, I, I would take my, my other T tomorrow will comb my hair <laughs> <laughs> no just teasing you so you so you say Claudia Lee said he said I changed your hand uh, your hair also Blanky right Blanky you said change what about um, who, who else I, Anita Me. Anita but I cannot see you Anita I'm I, here. Just, I, I just see your ah now there you go now I can see you you were like and then like <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, who else has changed the hairstyle? Raise your hand. Who else? Edwin, yeah, also you. Also Willie, yes. Gabby. Okay. What about you, Gabby Sanchez? Have you changed your hairstyle or no? Your hairstyle? Yes. Yes. Okay. Who can who can give me a sentence using just to with a hairstyle change? Who can give it to me? Thank you, Edwin. I, Go ahead. I, I will try. I used to I used to have ah. my I used to have a long hair, but now it's short. It's short. Very good. Thank you. What about you, Elwin? It's the same. 
is the same. You used to have a long hair, like my one? Yes. Really? No. Yeah. Uh, no, kidding. you like two hippie. Years, two, years, two years ago. Uh-huh. Long, long hair. Wow. And now you're like, you cut it. Yeah. Oh. For work. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. You had to. Hey, what about guys, your taste in music? Have you changed it or no? No. No? Your taste no. in music? Nobody? Yes. Gabby, what about you? Gabby Velasquez. Well, <laughs> I, I used to listen um music from bands like Jonas Brothers, Big Time ah, Rush, okay. and all that thing. Uh, oh, pop uh -huh. music uh, in English. Uh-huh. But now? But but now I like also Latin or rhythm like Bad Bunny and all this. Ah, <laughs> I thought you said Los Angeles Azul or something like that. Like, okay. Uh, Yes, awesome. a lot of, <laughs> a lot all of right. styles. All right, very good. So you have changed it. Besides Gabby, anybody else has changed your taste of music? No? Me? Who, Elsie? What about you? Yeah, I used to listen to uh, romantic music. Okay. Now I Heavy listen to gospel music. Re gospel, okay, very good. Yeah. So you have changed it. Very good. Yeah. And last but not least, guys. What about the way you dress? Have you changed it? It was like, and guy was like, yes, I used to you. I used to wear um, dresses. Uh -huh. and now I I I wear um, pants. Pants. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Anybody else? Thank you, Elsie. No. <sighs> Think about it. Guys, that is going to be your homework for tomorrow. Think about, I want one sentence. Using used to, or hobbies, habits, eh, about music, eh, food that you used to eat and now you don't, anything. But I want you guys one sentence. About what? About your hobbies. Okay? About your hobbies. That is what I want. Hobbies that you used to do, but now you don't, or vice versa. Okay, guys. Only hobbies, teacher. Uh, Sorry. Oh, no, well, hobbies is the main topic, but if you have something else to say, you can write it down. No problem, Lisa. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Time to say goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, guys. Goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Hugs, Have a nice. Enjoy the meal. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night.